The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Tuesday morning, feels like a Monday morning, of course, after the holiday. And uh, what is this, the 30th of May, so we are almost at the end of this month. It's raining out here this morning as I make this, and there's a lot of rain on the radar. And apparently, wait till you see the maps, apparently a lot of rain in our future from time to time over the next several days. I'll show you how much rain could fall uh, between now and the end of the weekend. Boy, some of you really got clobbered yesterday with that ferocious cluster of thunderstorms that wrecked so many Memorial Day plans, uh, including, uh, well, several counties were involved, including Lake Jordan and Lake Martin. I hope everybody got off the lake in time. Some impressive rainfall totals and, uh, totals and quite the stories that I've been hearing from you about how bad the storms were. Uh, we just missed it here. I could hear the thunder and see the lightning, but the rain was just north of here. Anyway, let's get going. Let's show you the week ahead and in through the following weekend. Here we go. Here's the map early this morning as I make this an extensive area of rain, a sheet of rain, if you will, from central and south Alabama through south Mississippi, Louisiana, back out into the Gulf of Mexico. It's not going to rain all the time today. I think the most concentrated rain could be morning and midday uh, based on what we know now. And then, uh, then it turns into more of a scattered shower and thunderstorm situation later on in the day into the afternoon hours. This is future radar confirming that. Again, the most concentrated rain first half of the day and then scattered showers and storms into the evening hours as well. So <clears throat> that's today's rain with showers and storms around and a high temperature held down by clouds and showers into the low 80s. Tonight's low 67, a little northwesterly breeze at 5 to 10 miles per hour today. Each of the next several days has a chance of rain in it, scattered showers and thunderstorms. It's not going to rain all the time, but if you have plans, uh, you know, be flexible. Thursday, I think the shower threat will uh, thin out a little bit. I've got the rain chances conservatively at 30% Thursday and 30% Friday, despite what this map looks like. Looks like um, pretty extensive coverage, right? How about Saturday? Look at the entire eastern half of the nation with the threat of showers and storms around the area Saturday and Sunday as well. So uh, this next weekend, be flexible, have a plan B because it looks like we may have some rain issues. Mid-80s on Wednesday with a 40% chance of showers and storms. I've got the rain chances at 30% Thursday and Friday with upper 80s returning and mid-80s on Saturday as the rain chances increase over the upcoming weekend. In fact, um, 50% may be conservative for Saturday. Seven-day rainfall uh, has, uh, you know, look at the entire eastern half of the nation uh, shrouded in rain over the next few days. And I think uh, some places in Alabama could see two to three inches of rain easily. Look at this uh, European estimate of more than seven inches down in the Mobile area. That's incre incredible. On this month of May, which will end in a couple of days, where we are already at 12.28 inches, an all-time record May in Montgomery, previous record 12.01 in 1978, and more rain to come. Here's the European out 10 days. Look at the blue bars at the bottom indicating rain <laughs> frequently <laughs> over the next 10 days. Um, so goodbye drought, right? Um, and uh, hopefully it's just not going to rain <clears throat> all the time so that we can get some things done. GFS has uh, the temperatures held down by clouds and showers today. It does warm us back up later in the week as the showers thin out a bit. And then uh, it look at later in the month, towards the mid-month, it's got mid-90s. Your weather app is going to be very useful over the next few days. It's got future radar and radar hourly forecast, 10-day forecast, plus push notifications for watches and warnings. Get it on your phone today uh, and uh, take it with you on vacation because it'll travel well with you. It'll give you the lo local weather for wherever you are. Go to the App Store, search Rich Thomas Weather. So we'll keep you up to date on this very active pattern over the next few days. There'll be another video for you tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. We're getting close to the hurricane season. That begins on Thursday. So we have a couple of days to go before that gets going. So a lot of adventures in our future here. I hope you have a great day today. Uh, we'll be live on the radio uh, this morning from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1. And also your forecast across the dial whenever you want it on eight radio stations. That's the Blue Water family of stations. Have a great Tuesday, and I'll see you later, okay? Rich Thomas Weather.